Well, hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of We've Completely Screwed Up the Timeline. Once again, Soup Mo. Last time we discovered that bubblegum is illegal, and so is everything else. Like, everything. The sign says, Out to Lunch, Doofus. Hey. Can't you read? Oh, it's you, McFly. Leech? Hey, hey, my bad. I should have wrote the sign in Latin, just so you'd understand. What sign? Outway to Unchlay. Now eat it, bay, and let me catch some Z's. Who's Leech? Is that, was he maybe one of Marty's band members? Soups and more. Wholesome soups, fresh vegetables, and soy-based imitation meats. Good thing I'm not hungry. Yeah, but that stuff was all like... It was all like 75 cents for a thing. That's that's awesome. It's a great price. Free soy dog samples. Take one. Hmm. I guess they ran out. I don't know. Maybe that stuff actually tastes good. Don't knock it till you try it. Okay, we've, we're going to fall, follow creepy Jennifer down the dark, creepy alley. Oh, snap. Feel a duty to report you. Let's just ignore you for a second. That leads to the soup, Mo. Leech is in there. I'd rather he come out here. Okay, so I should go they talk to him? up the entrance to the old speakeasy. Well, can you blame them? That junk looks awfully familiar. Fifty years familiar. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. Uh... Hey, Jen. What are you doing? Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? Uh-huh. Have you checked out Biff lately? You left me stranded. What's the deal, Jennifer? He left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Uh, go ahead, corrupt me. Uh, that sounds kinky. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this time, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kind of like you like this. Oh, uh, barf? Huh. Um. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. Uh, what uh, 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 what are you painting? Leech and the whoosh bags. I've never heard of them. No, you wouldn't have. They don't play much punk on those smooth jazz stations you listen to. Smooth jazz? I couldn't possibly be that square, even in an alternate timeline. Uh, oh yeah, do I want to, can I, wait. Is there potential to running into myself? No, right? No. How does that work? How does that work? What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted. Which is why I'm going to stay clear of it. Yeah, don't want to be well-adjusted. Uh, okay. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm going to go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. <sighs> okay. I'll change Brown's ways. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have yeah. a good talk with him. That's you know, it. I almost feel sorry for you. A police state. That's exactly... That's exactly the word I was looking for. Um, 
What do you think of the other me? So, Jennifer. Uh Uh-huh. What do you think of me? I don't. (laughs) Seriously, what have you got against me? I'm kind of popular, right? Very popular. Among a certain crowd. What crowd? Dorks. What do you mean, dorks? Marty McFly a dork? It's impossible. He can't be a dork. Okay, anyone who talks about himself in the third person is a dork. Yeah, you got a point. Uh, any chance my parents are still normal? My mom and dad. What about them? Would you say they're normal? By Hill Valley standards, yeah. In other words, they're warped beyond repair. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. Okay, breaking the rules. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to uh, break a few rules myself. You? Yeah, that way we can get in to see Citizen Brown. Uh, Infraction, public displays of affection. Really? Ooh. Ooh. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favoritest legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! Oh. Let's protest the PDA law. Let's do it, man. This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest! That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss-in. Let's not, and say we did. Okay. Wow. I just got rejected. Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go fig. That sucks. What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. Okay. Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Uh, can I borrow some paint? Give me a can of spray paint. I got an urge to paint something. Happy little trees? Get yourself a watercolor kit. I'm not sharing my wall. Okay, we're meant for each other. You act like I'm a turn-off, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. What interesting guys? You going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget them. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. Okay, well, you have been completely unhelpful, Jennifer. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. <laughs> uh, Wizard of Oz. Okay. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah. Okay, y- useless. All right. Um... Now what? Oh, good, a cutscene. Look out, son! Mom? Mom? It really looks like her, too. That's cool. Ah, where'd you go? Mom? Martin! Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, Mom. Better not be necking with Biff. Whose golf cart is that? What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. What about my truck? (laughs) No one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced that I'm hiding something from him. Timesheet? Aren't they annoying? But Citizen Brown always says, a scheduled life is a happy life. 
Anywho, could you be a dear and drop it off at the house? Here, take the car. Actually, I... I know, uh, I know, dear. Love you, too. I'd give you a kiss, but you know what that gets you. What? Don't forget to pick me up this evening. Uh, yeah, sure. Mom. It's a detailed list of my mom's daily activities. She brushed her teeth for four minutes this morning. Wow, this, uh, okay. This world is a little messed up. More, more than a little messed up. The patriarchy seems like it's in full swing. Well, it's not the truck, but I guess it'll do. Okay, we get to go see our house. And our father. Who's probably... Less of a dweeb than original George, but... Uh... Why is our ha caution tape? Oh, jeez. I don't know, John. Isn't this illegal? What isn't illegal in Hill Valley? Shh. What is this in Brown's watching? Don't worry, nobody can see us here. He's a peeping Tom. <laughs> ah, Try yeah. to warn your old man the next time, okay? That's amazing. Good morning, Mrs. Brown. That is amazing. Hey, my guitar. Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. And besides, you're not very good. Wow. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... Uh, rock and roll is my destiny. Music is good for you. I need to impress Jennifer. Uh, music. music is good for you. It improves your mental performance. Then take up the piccolo. Leave the electric guitar to the rebels and malcontents. That's my destiny. Rock and roll is my density. Um, destiny. <laughs> destiny. What would you know about destiny? Now quit fooling around and get back to your studies. A certain girl is only going to like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little hellion? She's nothing but trouble. Yeah, my kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only going to drive her further away. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Uh, sweet. Another. Oh, we got his guitar. This is nice. my axe. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Hey, yeah. Hill Valley, the perfect place to live. Greetings, programs. LeBrock 2.0. Anatomical constructs for sciences of all sorts. <laughs> Boring. Boys and girls, that's. That's what floppy disks look like. Oh, it's recording. I don't want to mess up Dad's work. Yeah, hey, here you got him. Uh, am I looking for like the right combination of things here? I don't know. Let's talk to Daddyo. Oh, it's recording. I don't want to mess up Dad's work. Now how do we... Hey, Demerit. Hey, what for? Talk to George. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Uh, what are you looking for? Interesting. What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but... Wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at Sutmo counter, cream of asparagus with crackers... What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. Uh, there she is, she an polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Oh, God. She's a boozer again. Whoa, Dad, what are you telling me? Are you saying Mom's a drunk? Shh, I don't know for sure that your mother is... 
relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out. What do you say? That's a good boy. This is messed okay, up. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. Uh... Uh... What were you hiding when I came in? What were you hiding when I came in just now? Hiding? I don't know what you're talking about, son. Come on, I saw it. It was a videotape, right? Um... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Whoa. Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. I don't believe it. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they, they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality, but... What? Confidentially? Not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. <laughs> Agnes, you're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy... Well, you get the idea. Yikes. Uh, sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Uh, okay, so we're going to take the tapes. Um, but let's talk to you about some other stuff first. How do these monitors work? How exactly does this setup work? I'm glad to see you taking an interest. Each of these monitors is connected to multiple cameras, of which I've strategically jacked into throughout the valley, with official clearance, of course. I can switch between cameras with these buttons. There's also a VCR for each monitor. I keep a record of everything I see. So, if I happen across something intriguing, I can keep it on file. Uh, it's funny that the box of peanut brittle is there, which you briefly see in the first Back to the Future, um... But there's also actually a deleted scene in the first one where he, where the girl comes to the door selling it. Um, so that's a, it's a fun nod. Uh, what's the deal with the house? What's the deal with the house, Dad? I don't know how to tell you this, son, but while you were away at your math and magic competition, our house got slapped with a CZ-36 violation. What? I know, it's so embarrassing. Your mother's mortified. She works so hard to keep a clean house, but those dust mites are so hard to keep down. Wait a minute, we can't go into the house because of dust mites? Well, not until they send in the cleanup crew. This is ridiculous. Thank goodness they let me move my office out here into the garage. Oh my gosh. Uh, dust mites? So, uh, when is this dust mite problem going to be solved so I can get to all my stuff? Well, the cleanup crew said they'd probably get around to it by tonight, but they're kind of backed up, so I wouldn't expect them until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Uh, where am I supposed to sleep? I got it all covered, son. We're going to camp out back just like we did when you were little. Okay, this timeline is officially a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, we got to fix this. We need to deal with this. Ask about Hill Valley and its rules. Hill Valley has a lot of rules. It certainly does, for our own good. Uh, how could kissing be illegal? Public kissing is illegal, right? Ah, the old PDA law. Indeed it is. And what's more, violation carries a hefty load of demerits. But you know, it's a law people break with surprising regularity. 
Why, I could show you videotaped evidence. How exactly do people get other people to break it? On second thought, perhaps I shouldn't show you the videotaped evidence. Uh, contraband. If I got caught with a contraband item, I'd get in a lot of trouble, right? You certainly would. You could be facing up to a thousand demerits, depending on the item. But of course, you wouldn't be caught dead with anything illegal. It's your mother I'm worried about. That's fair. Uh, do we have a dog? Did you ever harbor a dangerous animal? Aha! Couldn't if I wanted to. They've all been banned. But I did catch something very interesting on one of my monitors yesterday. Oh. Which one was it? Oh, yes! Does that look like a stray dog to you? Well, Whatever it is, Edna's animal patrol will make short work of it. Wait, how does that make any sense? If Einstein is like the friggin' if he's out law dogs, but dog is the thing on the courthouse that was just renovated like what last year or a couple years ago or something? What? Hmm. Something on your mind? Uh, uh about someone we both know. It's about someone we both know. Yes? Tell me about Biff. Have you seen Biff lately? Not since he went to the reconditioning center. Is he back among the living? Depends on what you mean by living. He's really different from the way I remember him. Lucky dog. In a way, it isn't fair that Hill Valley's biggest scoff law should be the first to receive the benefits of the new Citizens Plus program. But I know I shouldn't be jealous. Wow, this is... Have you ever spent time with Citizen Brown? Well, of course I'm in the audience for every one of his public addresses. One-on-one, -on -one, I mean. Oh, no. He'd never notice a common Sector L citizen like me. But I dream that someday he'll recognize me for my public service and maybe let me shake his hand. What can you tell me about Edna? Mrs. Citizen Brown? Oh, she's a wonderful woman. People just think of her as this sweet, self-effacing, grandmotherly type. Edna? Huh? Are we talking about the same? But really, she's just as involved in running the town as her husband is. Uh, tell me about my brother and sister. Uh, David and Linda. Have you heard from them? No, I thought maybe you had. <sighs> Not in ages. As far as I know, he's still working for the big city newspaper, and she's still in that women's boarding house. I'll never understand why they decided to leave Hill Valley. Well, hmm. Something on your mind? Ask about Mom. It's about Mom. Holy crap. How did she get like this? How'd she get to be such a mess? This isn't how she is in my... in my perfect world. You're right. It's a real puzzle. Because, of course, we both know Hill Valley is a perfect world. But for some peculiar reason, the harder I try to get her to conform to the rules, the more she slips up. Yeah, you, sir, are... You, I mean, I guess it's kind of not your fault. This is just the world you're all living in now. She's thinking about signing up for the Citizen Plus program. Is she now? You're not going to let her go through with it, are you? Well, from what I hear, it's a fairly drastic procedure which completely reshapes the subject's personality. On the other hand, if Citizen Brown recommends it, it's got to be a good thing. Can't you back off? Don't you think Mom would be a little more relaxed if you gave her just a little bit of space? Now, there's a fine suggestion! What would Hill Valley be like if people gave each other space? Why we'd all be tempted to follow our own impulses, and there's no telling where that might lead. To happiness. Hmm. Something on your mind? Ask about me. It's about me. I'm all ears. What am I like? Well, uh, from certain things I've heard, I get the idea that people in this town regard Marty McFly as a... As a what? A nerd. They said that? In so many words. Just because a boy studies hard and gets straight A's and respects the rules and doesn't party or drink or stay out late and is perhaps a bit socially inept and obsessed with personal hygiene and prefers his rubber band collection Stop. to... I really don't <laughs> want to hear anymore. I'm proud of you, son. Okay. I'm trying to understand why Jennifer broke up with me in this time. I... You recent past. Are you still mooning over that girl? Forget her! She's bad news! Why, my surveillance cameras have caught her doing things that... 
that are completely against the Hill Valley Code. I don't want to know. Kissing boys. Yeah. Sitting with boys in cars. Ugh. I've kept quiet about it for her father's sake, but believe me, you're well rid of her. Uh, where can I find me? You, uh, is there anywhere you expect me to be, like, right now? Well, I did expect you to be up at the lake until tomorrow with that math and magic competition, so I guess your time is pretty much your own right now. Okay, different subject. Yeah? Uh, about you. So about you and your, uh, work. Shoot. How did you get like this? You seem to be really into this spying business. It's not spying, son. It's cinema verite. These candid moments of Hill Valley's residents will eventually be compiled and edited into the documentaries and promotional materials that advertise our way of life to the rest of the world. True, you can argue that I've taken things to extremes, but I still get up to take my meals and, of course, to use the facilities. That's... that's good. You're supposed to be... I mean, wouldn't you rather spend your time writing, say, science fiction novels? Science fiction. I did mess around with that once, but that was before Citizen Brown made it illegal. Science fiction's illegal? Sci-fi promotes an unhealthy obsession with the fantastic and impossible, and it encourages the idea that there might be better societies than Hill Valley, which is subversive nonsense, of course. Well, that's a paradox. Okay, different subject. Yeah? Ah, uh, about Hill Valley and its rules. I'll take the tapes. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure. Not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. I just don't know if I could handle that kind of rejection. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Right. Okay. Uh, ooh, the bug zapper. Made Effective it. against moths, mosquitoes, and tannins. Let's go for it. Kick in the tape. Attention, benefit. This domicile is in violation of civic ordinance CZ-36 and has been placed in protective quarantine until corrective measures can be taken. Please back away from the house and have a nice day. What the hell? Don't violate the perimeter, son. Good morning, Mrs. Brown. That's subtle. I like it. What's this? What's the problem, citizen? Uh, everything's perfectly all right now. We're, uh, we're fine. We're all fine now. Thank you. Uh, how are you? I am amazed. Why, why are there so many Star Wars references in this? He said he he keeps saying I have a bad feeling about this, and that was Han Solo's line from A New Hope when he's they've they're on the in the detention level of the Death Star. That's crazy. Why? Why is there so many? Okay, um, let's go back downtown. I guess I don't really know what we're supposed to do. Another cutscene? Oh, we gotta go talk to mom. We gotta find out if mom is actually boozing again. Hey, mom. Mom? Well, hey there, Marty. No? Is it just me or does Hill Valley feel really strict today? Some might even call it stifling. But you didn't hear that from me. Tell me about the PDA law, Mom. Biff told me that he got in trouble for public displays of affection. Can you believe it? Sure, things got a little out of control back in the 60s with the free love and all, but now even holding hands will get you a verbal warning. Wait, so you can't even kiss? Can't even hug. It's barbaric. City Hall treats us like a bunch of children going to the movies. So Mom's the only one that makes any sense. Biff was talking about all the contraband he used to keep. Do you know anything about that? What are you implying, Martin? I'm not implying anything. I just want to know what kind of contraband might still be around. Y you know, so I can watch out for it. Uh, like a good citizen. 
Well, I wouldn't know about such things. But people still smuggle alcohol in from the next county. I heard the kids at school have been smuggling Xerox copies of Dungeons and Dragons. <gasps> I bet you'd be into something like that, huh? I'll get back to you on that. That's the last straw. Is it true that Biff was responsible for getting dogs outlawed? I think that was all Edna's idea. She's always had a sore spot for dogs. Now your father and I, we love dogs. You do? I didn't know that. How come we never had a dog? We had meant to get one to teach you children about responsibility, but by the time we had you, dogs had already been banned. Now I don't think we'll ever have the chance to raise a puppy. Jeez, Mom, that okay. could be the saddest thing I've ever heard. So I'm confused. Dogs have been banned for like 18 years. Uh, but in my lifetime, the clock, the, the courthouse was redone and dogs were put on the, uh, as gargoyles. Hmm. All right, all right. Let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. Uh, about Flask. That's maybe a bit. I feel like I don't know anybody anymore. Well, Martin, that could be a sign you need to get out more. That's fair. Is there any way I could talk to Citizen Brown? Oh, you know how difficult that is, Martin. The great man spends so much time coming up with new rules and demerits that he barely has time to talk to us anymore. I guess that's the price we pay for a safe, happy city. So he doesn't see anyone? Not unless someone starts rolling up the demerits. He still takes a personal interest in those situations. Hmm. And of course you could talk to Mrs. Brown. Clara? No, silly. Edna. Edna Strickland? Mm-hmm. Dad already told us this. Don't be stupid. Wait, wait, Doc. Uh, Citizen Brown is married to Edna Strickland? Did you get a bump on the head or something? They've been happily married for nearly 40 years. In fact, if you ask me, I think Edna wears the pants in the relationship. She's the ah. one always announcing the day-to-day -day bulletins. Probably writes them herself. I need to sit down. Everything makes sense. So Edna was controlling in the relationship, as would make sense, and used Doc's genius to to further her desire to... Uh, the music feels loud. The music feel loud. Um, to further her desire to... Um, no. Uh, to further her desire to control everyone and make sure all the rules are followed, just like Edna would do. So, so Doc is just the face of this. Edna is the one in charge. Biff <gasps> seems uh, unusually mellow. Well, he should be. He just finished the Citizen Plus program. So far, it looks like it's done him a world of good. You don't think he seems a bit off? I mean, he's so un-Biff. Well, isn't that the point? You remember what he used to be like? He was an unholy terror. He wasn't that bad. Now, sure. But you should have seen him in high school. I, uh, I, I can imagine. How about Jennifer? What do you think of Jennifer, Mom? Well, she certainly looked like quite a handful, dear. I was really hoping some of her, uh, joie de vie would have rubbed off on you. What do you mean by that? Well, Martin, you can be a little uptight sometimes. Jeez, don't sugarcoat it, Mom. Well, maybe you needed to hear it. There's nothing wrong with having priorities in life. Just maybe Jennifer should have been a little higher on your list. Yeah, she should. Well, you did buy that guitar. That's a step in the right direction. Women love musicians. Just keep practicing and I'm sure you'll get better. What are you talking about? I'm a great musician. That's the spirit. <laughs> Jen's dad doesn't seem to like me very much. He's just a little stressed out, dear. Filling the crime-stomping shoes of his legendary father makes poor Danny Jr. a little twitchy. So I see. But he gets the job done. Between him and his father, Hill Valley's been as dry as the Sahara Desert for decades now. Unfortunately. Dry? <laughs> Doc was right. We did overdo it. All right, all right, let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. Uh, let's talk about... Dad. Should we do that? So, what's up with Dad? Uh, indeed. 
What is up with him? That setup in his garage is pretty intense. That's not the word I'd use. More like creepy. I heard that. Hey, listening in on us, that's weird. How about you? What about you, Mom? What about me? Uh, what are you doing polishing a statue? What are you doing out here polishing the statue? I know! I was scheduled to clean the clock this month, but then Needle's mom ate some of that bad tofu that's been going around. So there was some reshuffling in the L-Sector duty roster, and here I am. Uh... I kind of wish I was cleaning the clock, though. So much nicer up there without all the cameras. The cameras? Wave to Big Brother! Or Big Husband, in this case. That's creepy. I saw you talking to Biff about the Citizen Plus program. Biff says I'd be a perfect candidate for it. I know Biff, and if that's what the Citizen Plus program does to people, then you don't want any part of it. But Biff has been reformed. Look at him. He seems so happy now. So at peace with this town. What I wouldn't give. He's a total veg, Mom. Your father is always telling me that I don't invest enough in the workings of our great Citizen Brown. Maybe it's time for me to turn a new leaf and just go with the flow. Okay, just hold off for a bit, please. I don't want you doing anything rash. All right. All right, all right. Let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. Uh, do we talk about me? I'm having a bad day, Mom. Can I ask you a few things? We all have our share, son. I, uh, lost my timesheet. What have I got going on this week? Well, Monday is Junior Brown Brigade. Junior what now? And Tuesday is Model UN. Model UN? Mm-hmm. You represent Djibouti. On Wednesday, you'll be overseeing the board game club at the Rex Okay, Center. okay, I've heard enough. What about me and Jennifer? I saw Jennifer earlier today. Oh, Jennifer. What a spunky gal. Are you two patching things up? She totally blew me off. Well, I'm not the world's biggest dating expert, seeing as how I married the first guy to fall from the sky. But maybe you should spend a little less time with your microscopes and ant farms. Because he and fell out of the tree. And a little more time tending to her needs. What kind of things is she passionate about, Martin? What are her interests? I don't even know anymore. You see? Fair. Everyone is treating me like some sort of goody two-shoes, Mom. They're just jealous that you're such a perfect citizen of Hill Valley. Have I always been this way? Always been a perfect little son? Going on 18 years now. What about that time I set fire to the living room? Oh, but you only did that so you could show us the fire retardant you made with your chemistry set. <laughs> Heavy. All right. All right, all right. Let's talk about something else. All righty, dear. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting liking and subscribing please do all three and when we return we're gonna ask mom about her drinking friggin mom until next time goodbye